Sadiko, a multimedia artist too, and a member of Kurit Lagting. And also we have Miss Liana Gulimlim, a culture and arts advocate. We also have here our art director, Kuya Jerry Matthew Caritero, Master of Fine Arts sa UP Diliman. So mamaya magpapakilala din ang uh, ibang speakers after ko uh, mag-lecture. So let's start na po. And uh, Sarah, uh, baka pwede mo po ma-present ang ating uh, PowerPoint. All right, maraming salamat Sarah. So um, let's let's start with uh, digital advocacy for social media. Again, good afternoon. 
I am a uh, member of uh, Kurit Lagting Art Collective in Sorsogon. I am Gerald Hintalan. So my topic for today is uh, digital advocacy na magagamit nyo sa online teaching. Itong uh, digital uh, advocacy ay uh, part lamang ng uh, isang malaking field sa art na kung tawagin ay visual communication. So, una sa lahat, uh, before tayo dumako sa digital advocacy, what is the greatest challenge in digital communication? Maaari kayong mag-type sa chat para mapag-usapan natin mamaya. Okay? So, what is the challenge in digital communication? Uh, Gerald, yung slide po po, hindi ko magalaw. Hi, uh, Sarah? Yan. So, pwede kayo mag-chat uh, sa ating uh, chat box para sa inyong mga kasagutan. Wait lang. Accept ko lang ibang pumapasok na. So there, again, what is the greatest challenge in digital communication? So, yeah, greatest challenge would be fake news and misinformation. Tama po yan. Malaking parte nga yan ang uh, misinformation, fake news, at ang lumalalang trolls sa social media. Kaya sa araw na ito, uh, pag-uusapan natin ang uh, multimedia production, specifically visual communication and advocacy. So, ano nga ba ang visual communication at ano ang advocacy? Ang uh, visual communication is a way of uh, communication that people get through reading or seeing. It communicates an idea and gives us a piece of information. Kasama dito ang uh, mga news, essays, data, report, and research bilang basihan ng visual work. It also uses different signs, graphics, books, animation, illustration, paintings, interactive web designs, advertising, photography, and short films. Makikita nyo sa susunod na slides ang, ang uh, examples nito. There. So, uh, next slide, uh, Sarah. All right. So magandang maintindihan din natin kung ano ang uh, parte o importance din ng uh, digital advocacy sa pangkalahatan. In this uh, digital world, ang attention span ng mga tao ay hanggang 5 to 10 seconds lang sa social media. So ang role Wait lang. Yan, na-admit ko lang yung ibang pumapasok. So as I have said, ang role ng uh, digital advocacy ay uh, ginagamit bilang instrumento or yeah, instrumento often used in uh, advocacy campaigns para mas pasimplihin ang words, text o impormasyon. Pag sinabi nating uh, advocacy, ang advocacy ay isang paniniwala o ang mga gawaing panlipunan to inform target audiences and facilitate change. Ang common forms nga nito ay uh, visual communication. 
or ang common forms of visual communication ay typography, paintings, cartoons, photographs, video posters, kasama din dyan infographics, and uh, photography. Kasi they are the uh, easiest and most convenient form for people to relate to. Mas uh, pinapaiksi nito ang uh, mga bagay-bagay para uh, makuha natin ang uh, mensahe. Next slide, Sarah. Yan. Uh, pasimplihin pa natin ano, uh, ano ba ang uh, digital advocacy. Ang uh, mga research data, stories, and the narratives na gusto natin through visual and uh, interactive content ay uh, ginagawa natin ng paraan para ang makakakita or makakabasa ay madaling maintindihan. Remember that you are communicating for a reason. Maaring to raise awareness, funds, affect policy, win new allies or champions, and uh, achieve other tangible goal. So yes. Uh, next slide. Since we are talking about awareness and uh, advocacy, mas maigi din na maintindihan natin bakit powerful ang uh, visual content or in this case, images. Alam naman natin na ang uh, words are not the only way we can communicate ideas and feelings. A more important weapon in digital advocacy is the visual in working with the media, like social media, traditional media, and multimedia. Next slide, Sarah. So, yan. Uh, Iba-iba din ang uh, forma nito sa mga samples. Makikita nyo na ginagawa namin uh, sa grupo sa uh, Kurit Lagting. So next slide, Sarah, please. Yan, ang mga ginagawa namin sa uh, Kurit Lagti, mga digital advocacies. Next slide. Mm -hmm. There. Yan ang mga samples. All right. So, uh, naipaliwanag ko na nga ang uh, importance ng uh, images. Ngayon naman, dumako tayo sa statement making o mas kilala sa tawag na call to action. Ang uh, call to action ay uh, important element to persuade a target audience or a certain group to perform a certain action or decision immediately. Yan. Um, mga examples niyan ay uh, buy now and uh, register today. Yan ang mga common uh, examples in uh, marketing. So for NGOs or advocacy groups, some common terms are there, protect the environment, stop child abuse, junk terror, build uh, now. Yan ang mga examples for NGOs or advocacy groups. Makikita nyo sa examples ang iba-iba uh, pang uh, call to action. Maiksi, simple, at uh, walang masyadong jargon para directly makukuha ng uh, nakakakita ng digital communication material, lalo na sa poster. Yan ang mga examples breast cancer Yan mga may iksi lang siya pero simple Yan as I've said wala siyang mga jargon uh, words para mas madaling uh, madaling maintindihan So bukod sa posters uh, kasunod nito ay ang iba-ibang uh, klase din ng uh, digital advocacy materials na nakikita natin sa social uh, media. Mapa-Facebook man yan, Instagram or Twitter. Nandyan yung iba-ibang klase ng uh, digital advocacy materials kung napapansin nyo. Ngayon, uh, alam na natin ang uh, basic concepts 
kung ano ang role ng uh, digital advocacy material sa um, komunidad. Yan, nakikita nyo ang mga sample posters na ipinopost natin sa social media. Yan, my infographics. And BWDs, Waste to Energy Incineration. There. Uh, ayun na nga, uh, bukod sa posters, um, nalaman na natin yung ibang uh, basic concepts kung ano ang uh, role nga ng uh, digital uh, advocacy materials sa uh, community. So, dumako tayo doon sa counting pointers or tips para sa paggawa ng digital uh, advocacy uh, posters. Nandiyan, typography is the art and technique of arranging type, type meaning letters, and characters. Yeah, it's so a typeface. It refers to a, a group of uh, characters, letters, and numbers that share the same design. For example, Helvetica, Times, and Arial are uh, typefaces. Yeah, so font naman, yung font is a uh, specific style or typeface with a set width, size, and weight. For example, Arial is a typeface. Yan, uh, 16, yung size, Arial Bold is a font. Yan, sa communication design, provide a solid, uh, solid uh, content. Their research and uh, identif identify the purpose and goal of the presentation. Nandyan sa slide yung example. Number two, Choose easy to read fonts. Don't get too fancy with uh, fonts and go for those that are easy to read. Sans serif fonts are more readable than or serif fonts. So, magkaiba yan. Nakita nyo naman yung, yung pagkakaiba nila sa uh, slide. Mas nababasa siya. Mas madaling uh, maintindihan or mas madaling makita or mabasa. Number four, uh, include high quality drawings or images. Pwede kayong gumamit ng uh, high resolution drawing or uh, images that match the color scheme if possible of your layout. Kung kinakailangan mag grayscale, there, nandyan sa samples is light. So, dapat high resolution pala dapat, no? Images also convey emotion and setting. So, kung makikita niya sa slide, meron siyang, uh, pag, pagtingin mo pa lang is, may emotion na talaga na mararamdaman ka sa um, photo or image. Number five is, choose a selective color scheme. Select two or three colors for foreground tones, background base, and accents. Use images that harmonize with the color palette. Or vice versa. So, dapat nagtutugma silang lahat. Nandiyan yung example. Your change is powerful. So, gumamit siya ng uh, green uh, scheme. So number six, be consistent. Images, color, um, color schemes, background images, fonts, layout, framing, and logo placement or logo placement should all follow the same style guide. So yeah, an example. So COVID, COVID nineteen. There. So gamit ang mga konsepto na ito. May uh, basic tools and techniques na tayo na maaari nating i-apply gamit ang mga 
apps or software sa inyong uh, mobile phones at laptop. So, makikita, or gagamitin natin yan mamaya. Ano? So, ngayon, uh, magde-demo muna si um, Liana para sa Canva application. So, feel free to explore and be creative as possible. So, yan. Uh, Canva ay isang online uh, software na pwede nyong gamitin sa mobile phone or laptop. So, proceed muna tayo sa demo with um, Liana para sa Canva. So, I hope meron tayong meron tayong um, app na pwede gamitin yung Canva sa inyong mga phone. So, Liana, take it away, please. Good day, everyone. I am Liana Gulunin, a Kuwait Lagting intern, and today, I will be presenting on how to enhance our creativity using the Canva app. Pwede po tayo gumamit ng desktop or yung Android phone. Simulan na natin. To start, search for canva.com. Ito po yung lalabas. Let's create our account to access the Canva. We can link our Gmail and Facebook account. Pero mas maganda gamitin yung school email kasi we can access the Canva for free. Once sign up is completed, makikita natin nagad ang home screen. Sa upper left naman ay ang menu bar. Sa learn dito makikita ang mga tutorial videos, features, Free templates na offer ng Canva. All your designs kung saan makikita lahat ng mga sinave. Shared with you kung may nakalink na ibang members. Classwork. Yung brand kit is only for pro account users where we can customize anything color palette. All your folders. Mas maganda na organize lahat. This is the example of the um, of my class where you can create or add members or anything. Back to the home screen. Makikita natin pag in-scroll yung mga iba't ibang templates na pwede natin agad gamitin. Ito po yung halimbawa ng mga presentations, infographics, class schedules, math worksheets, and many more na pwede natin gamitin for our educational purposes. Okay, let's start. We will make a presentation. Okay, here is the black canva. So, let me introduce kung ano nakalagay dito. So, una, yung templates kung saan makikita natin ang iba't ibang layout na pwede natin gamitin agad. We can search sa toolbar kung ano yung magaganda. Uploads is that you can upload images and video. So, for example, the image that I already uploaded. And I will teach you how to upload. You can use Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, Dropbox, or your device. So, I will be uploading a picture from my device. Here it is. Next, from our side panel is the photos. This picture or photo is already in the Canva app. There are million pictures that we can explore and use. You can add effects, filter, or adjust the picture, or drag anywhere. You can also crop and flip the pictures. So, ang tawag dyan ay, sa part na yan is the toolbar. Okay, next from our side panel is the elements. So, you can add your elements by searching or exploring here. Choose the right fonts. 
Meron na ding free funds na pwede natin gamitin. Or we can search. And music. Ito yung latest na updated ng Canva. We can use this in our presentation. The background. So I will be choosing this background. And folders. More from Canva, the styles. Okay, from the elements, I add leaves and circle. Pero naghahanap ako ng circle na pwede customized kasi merong ibang elements na hindi po na-edit yung kulay. Okay, next, let's add a text. So, this picture is eggs of a caterpillar. And I will be choosing the right font and the color na magiging pleasing sa mga mata. And insert an animate or animations. So, for the next slide or page 2, same lang yung pattern ng design for the presentation. So, from the elements, I add the circle and the caterpillar. And arrow, and next will be, let's add a text again. This will be a caterpillar. Sana po makuha nyo yung pasunod-sunod. And tingin ko po ah, parang madali naman to para sa inyo. You can practice this using our Canva app. Mas maganda na pinapractice natin para naman ma-enhance pa yung skills and our creativity. So, nasa slide 3 na po tayo. Kung napapansin nyo po, nasa uh, same pattern lang yung ginawa ko from slide 1. Yung maganda dito is that when we are choos choosing or add elements, we can customize the colors. I will be adding a music or background music ng presentation. And now let's create the title of this presentation. So I will be, I will be choosing or add elements from the side panel and replace the picture or the element from back to front or anything or kung ano po yung preferences nyo. And I will be add a text with the same font and color. Based from the previous slides that we already made. And adjust na lang natin para makita. Okay, since tapos naman po lahat, yung gagawin na natin or yung last step is to export. So, Yung sa taas po ng toolbar, yung download. And the file type is the mp4 video type. So, here it is. Preparing your design. Okay, already saved na. Nakikita niyo po sa baba, dinadownload na po yung video or yung presentation. And I will be saving this file. Pero yung kagandahan din po dito ng app is... Automatic po siya next save. Let's see the final output.
From our Play Store, let's type and search for Canva. Pag na-search na po, install po natin tong app. Since I already installed this, all I have to do is open. Ito po yung makikita natin pag na-open na yung app. And let's create or continue with an email. And also our password. Once sign up is completed, all we have to do is wait. Okay, here is the home screen. Ito yung um, pagkakaiba ng Android or using your Android from the laptop or computer. Yung sa baba po kung makikita nyo, that is the menu bar, home screen, at ito yung side panel, same with the presentation that I already made. So, yung gagawin po natin ngayon dito sa app na to, using our phone, is we will be creating a worksheet or test paper. Here is my previous design that I already used in my school works. From our search bar, I already searched for worksheet and pipili po tayo ng template. At ikokosumaysa lang natin. Okay. Ididirig ko po itong mga elements na ito since magkakosumays tayo at meron na din po akong naisip kung ano po yung ilalagay ko. So, same pa rin po dun sa life cycle of butterfly. Gagawin ko po siyang matching type. Kung makikita nyo po yung Add button. Ayun po yung option or yung parang side panel. So, I already add two elements and there are two more. Yung kaibahan po dito, based on my observation, when you are using your Android app or your phone, is that parang limited po yung pag-edit ng pictures or yung mga element, unlike sa desktop. Sana po nakuha nyo yung mga pasunod-sunod. Okay, let's add a text. Yung ginawa ko po is ibang font naman yung ginamit ko. If nahihirapan po kayo mag-align ng mga numbers or text, you can use a grid since wala po tayo dito ng ruler. Search nyo lang po sa element, grid or anything shape na pwede po natin gamitin. Same pa rin po yung process na ginawa ko. Kung makikita niyo po sa taas, yung po yung toolbar. Let's export. Save as PDF print. Okay, nakasave na po. Back to our home screen. Yung next po na gagawin natin ay cover. Tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano gumawa ng cover na pwede natin gamitin sa school projects and reports. 
Minsan kasi sa Microsoft Word, limited lang po yung mga design. Dito po sa Canva app, we can customize and make a layout or cover for our reports. Yung pinili ko po ngayon is yung blank Canva. And nag-search na lang po ako or explore ng template na pwede natin gamitin. So, meron po akong napiling pre-template ng Canva. And all I have to do is customize using my ideal design. So, I insert the pictures that I already uploaded. The .ed logo. And let's add a text. So, ito lang po yung example na naisip ko. From spacing, i-adjust po natin yung letter spacing at yung height niya. Ito po na mga simpleng tips na ginagawa ko. Pwede nyo po ito i-apply. Let's add an element. So, yung gagawin ko po ay pipili po ako ng element. At i-adjust ko po yung transparency niya. Since nilagay ko po siya sa background ng font. When we are adding elements, let's make sure po na nababasa pa rin yung text. Kasi mas mahalaga po yun since we are conveying uh, the message for our audience. Ilalagay ko po yung pangalan ko sa baba. And for our last step is to export the file. Pwede po natin piliin yung image or yung PDF standard. Ayan, nakasave na siya. Doon po nagtatapos ang ating presentation about sa Canva. And sana meron po kayong natutunan doon. Maraming salamat po. Alright. Uh, maraming salamat, uh, Liana, sa iyong uh, demo. Ayan, sana marami tayong uh, natutunan. And uh, again, pwede natin uh, i-review yung uh, recording. Isisend naman po namin yan sa inyong lahat uh, para ma-review nyo yung uh, demos and uh, presentations natin. Anyway, nandyan naman po yung uh, concept. So, medyo padaliin lang natin yung uh, demos kasi uh, limited lang ang ating time, okay? So, let's proceed now sa uh, demo ni Sarah or sa kanyang presentation. So, Sarah, take it away, please. Hello po, good afternoon po. I'm Sarah and I'll be teaching how to record your lessons in free and efficient way. So, natural po as a teacher, problema po natin yun na paano natin i-record yung mga lessons natin and papakita natin yun sa mga students ng maayos. And kasi nga kulang din tayo ng mga gamit so hindi natin mabigay yung magandang quality. So, yun nga po, I will teach you how to record your lessons in free and efficient way. So, yung lesson po natin is divided into four topics. Number one is yung camera. Paano po iset up yung camera ninyo and how to use your phone instead for recording. And sa light po, ano pong gagamitin for lighting kasi minsan ang dilim po ng paligid. Sa microphone po, ano pong gagamitin for the audio. And screen recording po, pag gusto nyo screen record yung presentation nyo mismo sa phone. So, yan po. Camera. So, dalawa po yung setup natin sa camera. Frontal recording, as in harap-harapan po. And overhead recording. Sa frontal recording po, ang kailangan lang naman po natin dito is books. Books and wall, actually po. So, ang kailangan po dyan, collect a lot of books. Stack it against the wall. And place the phone above the books and against the wall. So, yun po, yung katulad po sa pictures, kailangan nyo lang po siya ng maraming, uh, maraming books, ipapatong-patong nyo lang po. And sa ibabaw po nun, ilagay nyo po yung wall, yung, yung phone nyo po against sa wall. 
Ano po, yun po. <laughs> Tapos, another type po ng frontal recording, pag hindi po against the wall or yung sa area ninyo, wala po kayo mahanap na magandang pagpestuhan na may wall. Uh, ang kailangan nyo po dyan is books and mug. So, for this type of ano po, frontal recording, kailangan nyo po uli na marami libro. Uh, Pagpatong-patong nyo po uli. Tapos, sa ibabaw po, ilagay nyo po yung mug. Tapos, katulad po sa picture, um, ilalagay nyo po yung phone ninyo against sa mug sa ibabaw ng libro. So, yun na po, katulad sa picture, ganyan po yung setup. So, as long po na walang wall, uh, mag-stack lang po kayo ng kahit ano. Uh, katulad, katulad po, boxes. Stack, stack nyo lang po. Tapos, sa ibabaw po nun, maglagay po kayo ng heavy objects sa pwedeng pagpatungan ng phone ninyo na hindi matutumba. And safe din po, as much as possible. So, yun po. Uh, pwede, ang substitute for books and mugs is, yun nga po, box. Picture, yun po, yung, yung picture po, pwede pong gamitin yan pang ano, pang patong uh, jar po. And alcohol. Yes, alcohol po is possible. As long na mabigat po siya, rinay ko na rin po. <laughs> Tapos, another type of the camera setup po is overhead recording. So, ano po bang kailangan sa overhead recording? Books po, tsaka hanger. Yes po, hindi po kailangan na mamahalin po dyan. Uh, katulad po ng umpisa, kolekta lang po kayo na maraming libro. Pagpatong-patong nyo po. Tapos, between po doon, between po ng mga libro, ilagay nyo po doon yung hanger. Tapos, kung feeling nyo stable na po yung hanger, kaya nyo po mag-stay po doon ng mag-isa, nang wala pong iba magay. Uh, pwede nyo na po ilagay yung phone ninyo sa dulo ng hanger. So, katulad din po ng picture. So, ano po bang pwedeng i-substitute sa libro at saka hanger? Katulad din po ng umpisa, boxes, and instead of pitchel, a uh, plastic container like mga Tupperware po, pwede yun. As long na mabigat po siya. And yung pwede i-substitute sa hanger is ruler or stick. Pwede rin po yung, yung ginagamit sa sliding folder. Pwede rin po yung gamitin. Dalawa po yung gamitin niya. Tapos ipatong niya po yung phone niyo. So yun lang naman po yung sa overhead recording. Tapos po, yun na po. Next step, light. So, sa lighting po natin, hindi po naman talaga natin kailangan mas stress dyan kasi light is present almost everywhere. So, as long na may ilaw, things will be clear, things will be seen better. So, ang tip lang po dyan is make sure that the place where you shoot has enough light. So, as long na may ilaw kayo, uh, everything will be good naman. So, pag hindi po kayo confident, you can use naman po yun po, sun with light. Yung ilaw po sa ilaw, pwede po ipagsama yan. Uh, desk light, pwede rin naman po. And yung flashlight. Actually, pwede nyo rin po gamitin yung candle kung nakukulangan pa rin kayo. So, yun po. Susunod so, naman po is yung microphone. So, yung microphone po natin, meron po yung naka-built-in na microphone na po. Ay, I mean, yung phone po natin, meron na pong built-in na microphone po yan. So, minsan po, di ba po, po nag-video tayo, meron na pong rec ano, recording na audio. So, you can use it naman for your video recording po. Pero kung feeling nyo hindi clear enough yung boses ninyo, pwede nyo pong gamitin yung, yung microphone ng uh, earphones ninyo for the recording kasi para mas clear po. So, yun, last step po is yung screen recording. Ito po yung minsan nangihirapan tayong gawin kasi po sa phone po natin ginagawa. So, madali lang naman po siya. Uh, Magda-download lang naman po kayo ng app po. So, yun po. Yung app na yan, it will allow you to record your screen with your face and voice. Meaning po, you can uh, screen recording your presentation na may mukha ninyo and at the same time, nare-record na rin yung boses ninyo. So, paano po ba yun? So, yun nga po, una, magda-download po kayo ng screen recording app. Tapos po, allow pop-up window. Uh, permit nyo po yung app na yun na galawin yung mga stuff ninyo. Hindi naman po talaga galawin. I mean, i-view yung stuff ninyo sa cellphone kasi minsan kailangan po niya makita yun. Tapos, pupunta po kayo sa settings ng app na yun. Tapos, check nyo po yung record audio, camera, And optional po yung brush and show touch. Kasi yung brush, pag minsan gusto nyo po isulat, tapos yung sa show touch po, kung gusto nyo po ipakita kung nasan na kayo, nasan po yung hinahawakan ninyo. So, paano po ba yung show touch? 
Madali lang din po yan. Pupunta po kaya sa settings ng phone ninyo, about phone. Tapos, pigtutin nyo po yung build number or yung model ng cellphone ninyo until meron na pong lumabas na developer option. So, para ma-access po yung developer options, punta po kayo sa additional settings. Then, pindutin nyo na po developer options. Tapos, scroll-scroll lang po hanggang makita nyo po yung option for show tops. Tapos, i-click nyo na po yun and makikita na po yung show tops. Don't worry po, i-demo po yun mamaya. So, let's watch this video. Hi, I'm Sarah. Having problems recording your lessons? You came to the right place. I will teach you an affordable way how to set up, shoot, and edit with your mobile phone. First thing to do, setting up. You don't need a tripod to record yourself. There's a lot of items that can be found in your home to substitute for it. Like books. A lot of books. Stock your books on the table and place your cell phone against the wall. You can use other items such as boxes, containers, and even a cauldron if books are not enough or available. If your table is not against the wall, you can use a drinking glass filled with items that can make it heavy. Place it above the books, then set your phone against it. If you're not confident with the glass, you can substitute it with other objects as long that it's heavy such as lotion or alcohol. Just like before, stack your books on the table then put a hanger or a stick between the books and lay your phone on the item near its tip. With that, you can now record yourself doing your lessons. You don't need an expensive equipment for a bright light. Sunlight is mostly present during the day so you can use it for your lighting. You can also use your room light as a substitute for sunlight but you can use it at the same time. In case it's still a bit dark, using a desk lamp, cell phone flash, or even a candle can improve the lighting. Worried about the audio? Don't worry about it. Our phones mic are capable enough to capture your voice and produce good output. If you want it to be a bit more clearer, you can use the microphone of your earphones instead. Recording your presentation doesn't need a setup like before. In this case, an app will help us do the trick. Open Play Store, search Screen Record, then download it. Once it's finished, open the app and check its settings. Make sure that the camera and mic is enabled for recording. After checking, you can now record yourself narrating and showing the PowerPoint at the same time. Last step, editing. This part is important because it can produce an output that students can learn with. To edit on phone, download the video editing app by opening the Play Store and searching on it. Once it's finished downloading, open the app and create a new project. Select which videos you want to include, then import. Copy unwanted parts of the video then arrange the clips. Make sure to double check in case that a part is missing. Once you're sure of the outcome, render and save it on phone. With that concludes our video. I hope that you were able to learn something. Good luck educators! So yun lang naman po yung lesson natin for recording your lesson. So yun po, good luck po sa inyo. Alright, maraming salamat uh, Sarah, napakaganda at uh, marami na naman tayo natutunan uh, doon sa presentation mo. Thank you again Sarah and uh, Liana. So now, uh, let's proceed naman sa um, video editing. Um, napaka basic lang ng aking i-demo uh, live uh, dahil uh, limited lang ang ating time. Anyway, um, again, mara-review na ito later at uh, isasend naman namin itong uh, recordings natin. Okay? So, um, I hope meron tayong uh, power director sa inyong mga uh, cell phone. So, you can go to your uh, Play Store for Android and App Store for iOS or iPhone. 
and download a uh, power director. So kung meron tayong uh, power director, let me share my screen here. Good day. Ngayon na ituturo ko sa inyo ang basic video editing using Power Director na magagamit nyo sa inyong uh, mga learning materials or para sa inyong personal use. So ang Power Director na gagamitin ko ay version 6.9. So kapag nakapag-install kayo ng latest version, uh, that's fine kasi konti lang naman yung uh, pagbabago sa old version na gagamitin natin. So let's start! Okay, so since uh, nakapag-install na tayo ng uh, Power Director app sa ating uh, cellphone, let's open the app to start. Then, mararoot ka ngayon sa paggawa ng new project. So, just click the new project button sa gitna. And meron kang uh, option ngayon na i-edit ang uh, project name. So, for this one, let's uh, put tutorial and then meron din option para uh, piliin kung anong aspect ratio ng uh, inyong video. For me, uh, usually ginagamit ko yung 16 by 9 since uh, nag upload tayo sa uh, social media like YouTube or uh, Facebook. So, yan, 16 by 9 ang ating pipiliin. At yan, uh, mararoute ka ngayon agad sa pag-import ng uh, media. For example, uh, video, images, or music. By the way, narito ang uh, face or ang itsura ng uh, power director. Sa right side, makikita nyo itong uh, icon kung saan uh, pwede kang mag-publish or uh, mag-produce ng video. Next dyan ay ang settings and ang play button. Itong nasa baba naman, ito yung uh, timeline na tinatawag. So, dito tayo mag adjust ng uh, videos mamaya. Next is sa left side, makikita nyo ang home button and then the import videos, images, or uh, music, the layer button or the layer option, and then the re redo or undo uh, button. So now, uh, let's start with uh, importing a uh, video or images or music. So let's start uh, with uh, the video. So you select mo lang kung saan ang uh, or kinasaan ang material na gagamitin mo para sa iyong uh, video. So, let's try this one. So, click mo lang ang video. Then, makikita mong play button para ma-preview ma mo or yung plus para may add mo siya sa timeline. Tulad ng ginawa ko. So, click mo lang plus. Then, bababa na siya dito. Makikita mo na sa timeline mo. Okay. So, uh, I-click mo lang itong uh, back button sa taas para makita mo yung uh, preview sa timeline mo. There. Since nakapag-add na tayo ng uh, video, first is uh, let's try to cut the uh, unnecessary uh, clip. So, i-adjust mo lang siya by dragging this or click mo yung video para ma-activate siya. So, i-drag mo lang kung saan ka mag start ng iyong uh, video. There. So, uh, nasa baba dyan, itong uh, pencil icon. So, i-click mo lang yan. And then, may option dyan to uh, split para putulin mo yung uh, unnecessary video. So, click the uh, video na gusto mong tanggalin. And then, dito sa baba ulit, makikita mo ang trash bin. So, click mo lang yan para matanggal mo yun. So, ito yung uh, ating Maraming salamat sa magagandang mensahe and performances and to all the artists who collaborated sa Rage na music video. So, ayun. So, kung gusto mo naman siyang i-cut ulit, 
you can do that by uh, activating the video on your timeline and then click the pencil icon and the split option or button and then delete so yeah and kung gusto mong balikan naman yun or kung gusto mong uh, ibalik yung uh, video na pinutol mo click the video or itong nasa dulo i press and hold mo lang siya then i drag mo siya papunta doon sa right there. So, nandun na ulit. Dumugtong na ulit siya. Or you can do that by clicking the undo uh, button sa right or sa left side. Okay. So, now, um, pwede nyo ring uh, i-cut. Or, yan, tulad ng ginawa ko kanina, i-cut natin yung mga unnecessary clips. Or, uh, the other option is you can adjust the volume by clicking the uh, video, activating the video, and then the pencil icon again. There. At makikita nyo ang volume na button. So, i-click mo lang yung volume. Then, you have the option to adjust the volume here. Kung gusto mo siyang i-mute, so, ilagay mo lang siya sa zero. Or kung gusto mo uh, lakasan, then drag it apunta sa right. There. Kung gusto mo namang uh, fade in yung video or yung audio sa video mo, click or activate mo lang siya, switch on mo lang itong fade in or fade out. There. Kung tapos ka na mag-edit sa, sa volume, click OK and then um, naka-ano na siya. Naka-activate na siya sa timeline mo. So next is... Pwede nyo uh, lagyan ng effects yung uh, video mo. Again, uh, always click or activate the video. And then, or para lumabas tong option na pencil icon or delete. So, activate the video. And then, pencil icon. And then, there, makikita nyo yung effects or other options there na kailangan mong gawin sa video mo. So, for this, uh, let's try the effects. So, may mga default na siya na effects na pwede mong pagpilian. Kung gusto nyo yung black and white, yan. Or kung gusto nyo i-preview, uh, just click the play button. Maraming salamat there. sa magagandang mens Or black and white. Sahi and and other effects. So, ayun. Click mo lang ang no effect kung gusto nyo ibalik sa dati. Itong no effect sa gilid. Okay. So, next, ang gagawin natin ay mag insert tayo ng kadugtong na video dito. So, again, let's uh, click the import. The import uh, video or images or music. So, kung gusto nyo mag-add ng image... Yeah, click nyo lang yan. So, later on, gagawin natin yan. For now, uh, let's try again adding a video. So, here. Always click the back button several times para bumalik ka sa timeline mo. There. Said, so, rage na music video. Yan, ang uh, example na video na in ko. So, since may volume or may audio siya, pwede siyang tanggalin if you want, if necessary. So, click mo lang yung video, activate, then pencil icon here. And then, the volume. So, imu-mute ko siya kasi hindi naman siya kailangan para sa akin. So, drag mo sa papuntang left. Hanggang mag-zero siya. And then click OK. So, pag nag-preview ka, wala na siyang audio. Alright. So, uh, next na gagawin natin is maglalagay tayo ng uh, mute or image. Image here uh, sa kadugtong niya. So, click the uh, import. 
uh, video or image or music. So, for now, uh, gawin natin ang uh, image. So, ito. Uh, click mo lang yung uh, kung nasaan nakalagay ang uh, image na il ilalagay mo or idudugtong mo siya sa video. So, here, example, dito ako sa download. So, click the uh, material and then uh, click the plus button para pumunta siya sa timeline mo. Then, click several times ang back button para makapunta na ka or makabalik ka sa timeline mo. So, here, if you notice, meron siyang uh, effect na pan and zoom na automatic na nag-apply. Uh, so, kung tatanggalin mo yan, just click or activate the video or the image. Click the pencil icon and then um, dito yung option of pan and zoom. So, click mo siya. Kung tatanggalin mo siya, then uh, select the no effect. Or the other option, random motion or custom. Pwede kang mag-custom dito. So, for example, galing dito. And then, i yung start position niya. So, sa so next is, or yung end position naman, i-click mo lang itong end position. Then, i-drag mo siya kung saan mo gustong mag-end yung zooming or panning niya. Alright? So, there. Um, para makabalik ka doon, click the uh, back button and then click OK. So, nandiyan. Nag-apply na siya sa image mo. Okay. So, next, uh, kung gusto nyo namang uh, palakihin yung timeline mo or habaan or i-zoom, so, I-click nyo lang or i-drag nyo yung uh, timeline dito using two uh, thumbs. There. Yan, para makita mo or mas uh, makabuelo ka sa pag-edit uh, or pag-cut ng iyong uh, image. So now, uh, gagawin natin is i-cut natin yung image kung hanggang saan or ilang seconds lang siya mag appear You can do that by um, drag the... Uh, the end portion ng uh, image, press and hold, then drag there. So, or other option is um, you can do the split or you can use the split uh, button sa baba. There. And then delete. Okay? So, example lamang po yan. So, ibabalik ko siya sa dati. Alright. So, now, ang gagawin naman natin is mag add tayo ng music or mag import tayo ng music dito sa video natin. So, i-zoom out ko siya. There. So, click the uh, click the import and then uh, dun sa taas yung music. So, for this one, I will try to use uh, my downloaded uh, music material so, yan. Kunya uh, hold on. Ulitin ko lang. So, yan. Doon sa download, uh, click the uh, music na gusto mong i- or gamitin sa video mo. And then, dito sa right side, makikita mo ang play button or preview button. Maririnig mo. Maririnig mo muna ang uh, audio. Para uh, at least uh, masiguro mo na yun talagang gagamitin mo. Then the other option there is the plus button. Kung gusto mo na siya i-add dito sa timeline mo. There. So pumunta na siya dito sa baba. So ngayon, uh, kung gusto mong i-move. Okay, let's go back to the timeline. So kung gusto mong i-move yung music, uh, press and hold the music, and then drag sa left kung saan mo siya gusto uh, i-adjust. So, there. Or kung gusto mong i-cut yung music, you can do that by using the split uh, button. There. And then delete. The other option is by pressing and holding 
the uh, end portion ng music just like what we did sa image or videos kanina. So, there. So, nandyan lang yung end ng uh, music natin sa pag-end din ng uh, image. Alright, so kung gusto nyo i-adjust yung volume, uh, again, just activate the music on your timeline, then click the pencil icon, and then volume. Para hindi siya maghalo doon sa boses na nandito or sa audio na nandito sa video kanina. So again, again, um, activate the music, click the volume, and adjust it. Kung gaano kahina lang ang gagawin mo. And then click OK. So let's preview. So medyo malakas pa siya. Nagahalo siya sa audio or sa boses ko. So bababaan pa natin. The artists who collaborated sa Rage na music video There. So, ngayon, uh, kung gusto nyo namang dito sa part na to, is malakas na yung music, i-edit mo lang siya. First is i-split natin dahil um, kung kawin mo yan, eh, pati dito sa unahan, malakas din. So, i-split mo na natin and then activate mo itong um, pinutol mong um, audio clip. So, i-adjust natin ng volume. Para malakas na siya dyan sa part na yan. There. Click OK. So, let's preview. Rage na music video. Yan. Malakas na siya sa part na yun. Alright. So, next is maglalagay tayo ng um, layer. Dito sa part na to. Maglalagay tayo ng layer kung may gusto kayong ilagay dito sa screen while uh, kunyari nagsasalita ka or nagpiplay yung video, may lalabas or may pop up na image or another video. So, let's try to add another layer. Click the layer button sa gilid. Later on, um, gagawin natin tong text or mag-add tayo ng text. So, for now, let's add video or image. So, let's try um, another image here. For example, this one. Click the back button. There. So, um, since natatabunan yung mukha, uh, pwede nyo siyang i-adjust. Um, activate the uh, video. And then, you can drag the uh, video kung saan nyo gusto um, i-adjust yung image na lalabas sa video mo. You can also... Um, use this uh, corner or yeah, click mo tong corner na to yung corners niya, may apat siyang corners so para palakihin yung uh, image na gusto mong uh, sa gusto mong size, okay so for this one, let's try na maliit lang siya then i-drag ko siya dito sa baba or dito sa gilid or sa taas okay so, yan. Um, again, kung gusto nyo i-adjust kung saan siya mag-start, uh, just press and hold and then drag to left or right. Or kung gusto nyo um, habaan pa yung duration ng image mo, um, again, uh, you can drag the end point ng uh, video or image papunta sa right. Okay. So, yan ang uh, isa sa function ng uh, Power Director. Okay. So, now, as I have said earlier, uh, pwede tayo mag-add ng text or title. Meron mga default na uh, effects dito. So, let's try the default one. Click and then click mo yung plus button para uh, pumunta siya sa timeline mo. Okay, so yan. Makikita mo kung nasaan yung um, text na inad mo. So kung gusto mong i-edit, uh, tap the video or activate the uh, text on your timeline. 
you can drag or uh, you can resize the uh, text. So, kung gusto mong i-edit, tap mo lang itong uh, nasa screen mo para ma-edit mo ang text. So, let's try this one. And then, pag okay na uh, yung text mo, click the check button here sa right side. There. So, pwede mo siyang i-adjust kung saan mo siya gustong ilagay. And then, kung yung duration niya, pwede niyong i-adjust din tulad ng pag-edit uh, natin kanina sa image or videos or music. So, just the same uh, ano lang, function. So, yan. Kung nahihirapan kayo i-adjust, uh, you can zoom in the timeline para uh, ma-adjust nyo sa gusto nyong um, second or uh, duration ng text nyo. Okay? So, yan. You can also um, edit the uh, color of the text by um, clicking or tapping the uh, pencil icon. So there, activate the text, the pencil icon, then title designer. So yan, lalabas na dyan ang uh, mga options mo. Pwede ka mag-change ng uh, font size or font ng uh, text mo. So, let's try this one. And then the color, you can drag or select the color. Or you can choose here sa taas kung anong kulay ang gusto mong gamitin. Alright, so opacity. Yan sa baba. And then, um, dito yung mga function ng uh, text. Gusto mong uh, bold. Yan. Italic. Ganyan. So, alright. So, yun. Uh, kung gusto nyo bumalik sa timeline, just click the back button again. And, meron ka ng text sa video mo. Maraming salamat sa magagandang mensahe and performances and to all the artists who collaborated sa Rage na music video. Alright, so ayun, nakapag-add na tayo ng uh, video, images, music, and text. So, kunyari tapos na tayo sa ating uh, pag-edit ng uh, video, pwede na tayo mag-produce or gawin na ito by clicking this um, produce button sa taas, sa right side. There, makikita nyo yung options na pwede nyo gamitin. Save to gallery or SD card or save mo siya sa phone mo or you can directly share on Facebook or YouTube and other outputs here or other options. Usually, yung ginagawa ko is uh, sinisave ko lang siya sa phone and then i-upload ko na lang sa YouTube or sa Facebook. So, let's try this one. So, you have the options here uh, to select a uh, video resolution. Ang ginagamit ko uh, usually is the HD 720p. So, ayan. Kanyari gagawin ko yan. Kasi uh, Ultra SD or HD, uh, medyo malaki yung um, size ng video. So, kumakain siya ng maraming um, storage sa phone mo. So, ginagawa ko lang is 720. So, yan. Nakapag-select ka na ng video resolution mo. Uh, click the produce button. At ayan na. Nagsisave na siya as MP4. So, antayin mo lang mo OK or mag-complete. Then, tap the OK button sa iyong uh, screen. 
So rate us, yes. Okay, nyan. Uh, you can rate them or the power director or not now. Okay. So yun since nakap na save na yun sa phone mo, you can check your gallery para uh, makita mo yung output ng ginawa mo. So kung gusto niyo pang i-edit or may babaguhin kayo, uh, naka-save automatic yung uh, project nyo dito when you open the application, dito sa taas. Nandito yung mga projects. Yan, nagsasave yung projects mo. So, may um, ability ka to um, edit the project or may babaguhin ka sa video mo. Okay. So, ayun. Nakita nyo na or nakapag-produce uh, na tayo ng uh, video using the Power Director. Maraming salamat sa magagandang mensahe and performances and to all the artists who collaborated sa Rage na music video. Okay, so now that um, you learned the basic video editing using PowerDirector, I hope nakatulong ito para sa inyong mga uh, learning materials for teaching or para sa inyong personal use. Okay, so thank you and see you on our next webinar series. So let's move on muna sa Q&A siguro. Uh, pwede kayong uh, mag-turn on ng inyong uh, microphones. Sir Gerald. Hello po. Hello. Sir Gerald, just in case that we have a uh, questions na at their mind na hindi ma-post today. Uh, continue naman sir yung technical assistance, di ba sir? Just in case uh -huh. na may mga uh, gusto silang itanong about the technicalities on how to make uh, yung sa multimedia production for learning. Mm -mm. Sige, sige. Uh, sir, uh, we will, ano na lang sir, siguro uh, we will be an instrument to connect them with you. Kung may mga questions sila, sir, na hindi po nila mai, uh, maitanong ngayon. Siguro kasi, sir, baka they're still formulating as of now ng mga questions. Yeah. Kasi baka, sir, uh, later on may mag-pop up na questions. For example, mm -hmm. kasi I know, sir, this uh, multimedia production, medyo technical talaga siya, sir. Medyo broad so, siya. Uh -huh. simple, simple lang naman yung ibang uh, present. Uh, Med, madali lang naman intinent. But I know for sure, sir, there are uh, still questions that will pop up at sa mga uh, participants po natin just in mm -hmm. case na uh, magkaganon po. Yes, tama yan, uh, Sir Ronald. Thank you. Um, in case naman na uh, habang nag-explore kayo ng inyong mga applications, uh, pwede kayo mag-message sa amin, sa akin directly, or sa aming uh, kurit lagting page para sa inyong mga katanungan at uh, sasagutin na naman namin yan uh, as soon as possible. Opo, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And also, sir, uh, Gerald, to also give you an uh, idea po. Uh, Preto Diaz District is using, ano lang, sir, eh, yung modular type of uh, mm -hmm. learning mode. So, so learning. now kasi, mm -hmm. sir, though hindi kami gumagamit ng digital or online learning um modes but still i hope i think this uh, training po this webinar is still useful for us kasi just in case hindi naman po namin nililimit yung aming mga sarili specifically our teachers mm -hmm. na gamitin yung digital platform in teaching and delivering uh, uh, different learning modes and experiences para sa mga bata ano sir like sir yung mm -hmm. yung kanina sa multimedia production yung sa video production no uh, makukuha po nila and magkakaroon sila ng idea on how to facilitate such uh, platform in delivering learning and other uh, activities for our children po ano sir mm -hmm. yes uh, tama ka diyan uh, sir Renel. so ayun uh, again magsusend ako ng uh, separate na video uh, demo para sa inyo uh, guys about sa about sa uh, power director okay so isa send kaya na soon as possible kasama ang uh, webinar uh, recording
So um guys, again, um sa mga gustong magtanong, uh, pwede kayong mag-chat or mag-unmute ng inyong uh, microphone. So meron tayong chat dito, or meron tanong for or from um Lenny. How can Canva help us in teaching? All right. So si Sarah siguro ay uh, sorry, si Liana siguro ang uh, magsasagot niyan. So go ahead, Liana. Hello. Uh, okay na po? Okay na. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon po. My name is Liana Bilimlim. Ako po yung nag-present kanina about sa Canva. So yung ano po, uh, third year student pa ako and um, future educator po. Yung Canva po is very helpful po sa teachers. Isa po dun yung ano, yung, yung mga visualize na ideas natin, pwede po natin dun uh, i-apply and uh, gamitin for presentation. Meron po din uh, sa Canva na mga templates na mga lesson plan na pwede po makatulong sa atin. And since yung, ngayon po, yung situation po natin ngayon, yung new normal, and yung platform po na ano, online learning, and pwede po natin gamitin yon for our reports. And yung presentation po nga, yung kanina na ginawa ko, if you are um, thinking to make a PowerPoint presentation using the Canva, pwede po yun natin gamitin. Yun lang po kuya, uh, Gerald. Sana po na sagot ko yung tanong. Kung meron pa po, uh, pwede din po, uh, just leave a uh, sa comment section po. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Liana. And thank you din sa nagtanong. So, any questions po? Guys, uh, siguro itagdag ko na din. Uh, tulad ng sinabi ni Sir Ronel kanina, wag natin ilimit yung sarili natin sa kung ano lang meron tayo ngayon since uh, online teaching ang ginagamit natin for now. Uh, modules, karamihan. So, um, pwede natin gamitin or pwede tayong mag-level uh, up by using uh, the uh, multimedia platform. Okay, so yan. Uh, isa sa mga pwedeng option natin is yung uh, Canva na pwede tayong gumawa ng sarili nating uh, learning material using the Canva. So, ayun. So, any questions, guys, para uh, masagot natin? Hello, Sir Gerald. Mm -hmm. Go ahead po. Yes, yes Sir Gerald. Pwede ba mag-share kahit konti about the about yung sa question ni Ma'am Lenny about the Canva? Mm -hmm. Sige yes, po, Sir. I personally... Uh, ako po personally, I use Canva, uh, a digital platform in doing my, my mga reports, all of my uh, mga visual presentations, for example, PowerPoints. Alam niyo po, uh, digital uh, platform is indeed very useful na sa mga panahon ngayon. Hindi na lang po siya actually uh, basta lang na ginagamit for leisure or whatsoever. Actually, napakalaking tulong po ng ganitong mga digital platform for us to facilitate, to easily facilitate our works. For example, uh, uh, sa, mga, sa mga teachers po natin, uh, yung sinabi nga po ni Ma'am Sara kanina at sa prinesan niya kanina, actually, instead of using the traditional ways, for example, the word, di ba po, pinaka nagagamit natin yung word, uh, yung Microsoft Word, tapos doon tayo gumagawa ng mga worksheets po natin, activity sheets. Actually, you can also use Canva in... Uh, making worksheets and activity sheets and others uh, na pwede pong uh, ipasok mismo doon sa Canva because kapag nasa Canva ka po kasi napaka-wide range nung pwede mong magawa uh, when it comes to your work. Ay, uh, kasi connect, ano, ano po kasi siya eh, uh, internet-based, so may dapat internet access, may internet access ka. So when you connect it, yung Canva, tapos may internet access ka pa. Ang ganda po kasi because uh, doon mismo sa app na yon you can just search for anything. Uh, you can choose kung ano yung mga i-customize mo on your work. Uh, and also, uh, you can also use this for uh, report writings. Kasi kahit nga po sa resumes, Canva also have that kind of uh, document. Eh. So napakaganda ng Canva kasi I do personally use this application in doing any any of my work because napaka yung customization niya po talaga is maganda. 
aside kasi dun sa 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 word, di ba po yung mga fonts niya, yung mga uh, for example, yung mga pictures that we are going to download. Medyo limited po kasi pag nandoon tayo and kapag nasa Canva ka, it just it just explore the 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 application and it will give you a variety of options of different uh custom, yun nga po sinabi ko customization ang uh, yun yung kinagandahan niya kasi you can customize your work neatly and you can cre- uh, be creative on your work so yun po yung kinagandahan talaga ng Canva you can use that Canva in the different fields of your work hindi lamang sa mga worksheets also you also to your presentation actually we also do that on our facebook uh, advert uh, advertisements for example we we also do that on our uh, uh, multi uh, other social media platforms po so yun yung uh, kinagandahan ng canva that is oh, that is just one of the applications that we can use canva po diba sir uh, gerald there are still a lot of uh, applications that we can use mm-hmm. uh, in uh, doing our work in customizing beautifully our work hindi naman po sa minimenos natin yung uh, yung kinag-ugalian natin or traditional way of doing our worksheets or whatsoever like yung sa microsoft uh, microsoft word but kung meron naman po tayong opportunity to explore for a better uh, platform to do our works, I think we, we do encourage that so that na mas uh, maganda po yung uh, kalabasan ng ating mga ginagawa. Ano po. So yun nga po yung sinabi ko kanina, let us not limit ourselves to what is, ano lang yung dati natin ginagamit, traditionally or whatsoever, but give ourselves the opportunity to use and to, or to utilize the platform, lalong-lalo na sa, sa panahon ngayon na napaka-emergent na po ng mga ganitong applications and platforms for us to use to facilitate easily and creatively lahat po ng mga ginagawa po natin. Ano po? Okay na, Sir Gerard? Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Ronel. Uh, tama ka nga dyan sa sinabi mo. Um, wag natin ilimit yung sarili natin. Actually, hindi lang naman Canva yung uh, ah, pwede yes, natin gamitin. Mm-hmm. Sabi mo nga kanina, meron pang ibang applications. At pwede rin natin i-combine yan, yung Canva and other applications para mas mapaganda pa natin ang uh, gagawin nating uh, learning material sa ating uh, pag-teach. Okay? So, yeah, meron pang question dito. Uh, pag na-save na ang document using Canva, pwede na rin ba itong uh, i-open kahit walang internet? So, um, Liana, how about po, this question? Um, mm-hmm. Yes po, ma'am. Kasi once we export the file, parang uh, yun na po, nakadownload na po mismo yung file. Kahit wala na po yung internet, pwede po natin yun um, i-open at, or i-print kung worksheet po yung ginawa po natin or i-share sa ibang tao. Info. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Liana. And another question from, a follow-up question from Lenny. What are the things to be considered in using Canva? Liana? Uh, sa, t- uh, sa tingin ko lang po, uh, since we have our creativity, may, meron po tayong tinatago na creativity and skills. Um, yung one thing na, uh, uh, something na pwede po natin consider, syempre po yung uh, dapat available, available po yung device natin. Pwede pong gamitin yung uh, laptop, phone, and tablets. Pero po, um, uh, recommend ko lang po na mas maganda, din po, ay, mas maganda po gamitin yung laptop kasi um, hindi po siya uh, limited sa pag-design or sa mga other technical features po. And yung isa po is yung internet. Since ito po yung, uh, yung Canva po pag mag-access tayo, kailangan po talaga ng internet. Yun lang po, Kuya. Okay. So, yan. Thank you so much again, um, Liana. And si Kuya Choi or Kuya Jerry Matthew Carretero, meron uh, i-share. Kuya Choi. Hi. Hello, Gerald. Yes. Hello, everyone. Uh, yun. Um... Ito yung mag-share screen lang ako. Uh, naki- nakikita ba, Gerald? Uh, yeah, nakikita, nakikita. 
Yeah. So aside from doon sa mga sinabi ni, ni Sir Ronel and ni, ni Liana, ang Canva ay um, very flexible na application when it comes to creating different visual materials. So ilan sa mga ginawa ko ay um, newsletter for our organization. So pwede yung gawin dyan ang uh, newsletter if meron kayong monthly report na pwede yung ipackage into a newsletter. Ayan. So madali lang din siya. And meron din mga template dito sa left uh, side. Aside from that, pwede rin if you are a writer or a poet, pwede yung i-layout sa Canva yung mga poems ninyo. Pwede yung gamitin sa klase ninyo in, in sharing them with your students. Ayan. Another option or another ano, pwede kayong gawa ng mga fact sheet or mga information materials na pwedeng very short lang yung laman and pwedeng uh, may mga photos siya. And also, syempre, you can share them uh, gamit yung uh, link na man-generate sa students ninyo. So, they can view them. Kahit wala siya lang Canva, pwede lang i-view yun. So, i-share nyo lang yung uh, link. Ito, halimbawa dito sa share. Share. And then, lalabas dito yung share a link to view. I-copy ng ninyo yan. And then, halimbawa, share sa akin yung, yung link. Ma-view ko yun. Gamit lang yung link na yun. So, ayan. Ganyan siya. Ma Pwede yung ma-preview yung ginawa ninyo sa Canva using that link. Ayan. Kahit wala kayo Canva, pwede yung ma-view yan. Okay. So, another thing ay um, dahil nga we're gamingihan sa mga students ay very um, uh, tawag dyan, ano na sila sa social media, uh, pwede kayo gumawa ng different Facebook posts. So, ayan. Pag-connect nyo yung Facebook, lalabas nyo yung Facebook ad, cover, event cover, Facebook post, and other form na pwede yung i-post sa Facebook. Another din na pwede yung gawin, Instagram. Type nyo lang Instagram. Ayan. Instagram, lalabas yung Instagram post. So, iba-ibang format, iba-ibang template, magagamit nyo yan. And also, Twitter. Pwede rin, Twitter. Sa Twitter, makakagawa din kayo ng Twitter ad, Twitter post. So, yung mga materials, yung mga lessons ninyo, hindi lang through email. Pwede yung i-upload nyo sa Facebook. Pwede nyo yung i-share gamit ang, ang social media uh, accounts ninyo. So, may mga template na yan na pwede yung gamitin for, ano, for sharing. So, ayun. Yun lang yung akin, Gerald. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Kuya Choi. So, other questions po? I tried using Canva at Power Director po. Pero pagtingin po sa gallery, di naman po nag-save. Medyo nahirapan po ako gamitin to. Need more practice. Yes, uh, uh, Rosemary, uh, maybe nagkakaroon lang tayo ng um, internet connection uh, issue uh, while saving the file or saving the uh, output ng uh, Canva mo. So, try mo lang din ulit uh, na magkaroon ng mag mas magandang uh, internet connection while saving. And then, um, isave mo yung uh, ginawa mo. And then, check mo yung uh, gallery ko nandun. Kung wala pa rin, um, maybe there's something wrong with the application. So, I would advise you to uh, reinstall the application. Okay? So, uh, Gerald... Mm -hmm. Yeah, additional then if you want to save them into editable files, pwede yung save as PowerPoint file siya, pwede rin save as PDF 
para ma-edit ninyo yung laman without using the Alva. Pwede ninyong i-download yan into different formats na editable siya. So, sa PDF naman, merong mga PDF editor na pwede yung i-download para ma-edit ninyo yung, yung design na ginawa nyo sa Canva. And if presentation, pwede yung save as PowerPoint uh, sa Canva. Then, ma-edit nyo yung laman niya through PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Tama ka dyan, Kuya Choi. Thank you again. So, um, yeah, ako, uh, minsan nangyayari din yan sa akin na uh, kapag nag-save ako and nagkaroon ng internet connection problem, uh, hindi talaga siya nag-save sa gallery. So, tama si Kuya Choi, uh, you can use that option as well. So, other questions po? Mm, thank you, Rosemary, sa iyong question. So again, uh, in case na magkaroon kayo ng uh, question while uh, exploring the application, uh, pwede kayong message sa amin directly or sa aming uh, Facebook page, uh, Kurit Lagting, then uh, sasagutin namin yan as soon as possible uh, kapag nabasa namin. Okay? So kung wala na sigurong uh, tanong, uh, we can uh, end this uh, webinar. Uh, Kuya Choi, no? Okay, thank you so much, Kuya Choi. And thank you everyone for uh, participating sa ating uh, webinar. And uh, yan, ang gaganda at ang gagwapo nga ng ating mga partic participants. Oh. Yan, thank you so much. And also to Sir Ronel, maraming maraming salamat po. So that ends our uh, webinar for today. So again, kung meron kayong questions, uh, pwede kayong mag-message sa amin directly or sa aming uh, Facebook page. Again, thank you so much. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Bye. See you soon again. Oh, thank you po sa lahat. God bless po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Special Bye. Special mention to Ms. Monique Dumalaon and Ma'am Hani Imperial and Sir Lau. Hello. Good afternoon po. <laughs> and Ma'am uh, Hello Maria. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Let's go.